Hello everyone, we hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in Early Access F16C, it's October 2019, it's just come out and we're just uh, doing a little video to help out. Some of you guys are getting confused. First of all, SOI, that's S-O-I, Sensor of Interest, and MFD Manipulation. So they're two separate things, but they are also linked. First, we'll look at SOI. If you've flown the A10C and DCS, you'll already know exactly what it is. But if you don't, then it's something that we have to understand. So, if we wanted to manipulate the HUD, maybe in certain types of air-to-ground attack procedure, we will not be able to do that unless the HUD is SOI, our selected sensor of interest. If we wanted to use the particular option screen that was set up on the left MFD, we could not work that function unless it was SOI, and if we had a screen up like we've got the HSD here on the right MFD, then we could not manipulate that unless that was soy. So we can make this screen soy, this screen soy, and the HUD soy, but we can only have one of them soy at one time. Let's quickly look at the buttons we're going to be using to do this. It's the DMS, the display management switch. We've got up, down, left, and right. So currently our HUD is not soy, and that's because there is not a little star roughly about where my cursor is. If we want to make our HUD soy, we are going to press DMS up, and you can see we've now got the star there. The HUD is now soy, center of interest, and we can now manipulate the HUD. As it stands with this early version of the Viper, there is no real need to manipulate the HUD, but as more functions come out, there will be that requirement. Next, what if I want to make one of my MFD screens soy? I'm going to press DMS down press it once and this screen is now soy and we know that because the star has gone from the HUD and we've now got a rectangle around the outside of the screen. What about if I want to make this one soy? I press DMS down again and it will cycle. Now this one is soy. Press DMS again, down sorry, then this one is soy. If we want to go back up to the HUD is soy, DMS forward. So that shows how we can make either of those three are soy. For either of these screens to be soy, they have to have an active and functional page on them. So this one's got the HSD, which is working and implemented. This one's got the fire control radar, which is working and implemented. Next, we're going to look how we use the DMS left and right functions to change what is shown on these MFD screens. So if we go down and zoom in on the left MFD, if we press display management switch left, you can see it changes. It's going to cycle between a DTE page our test page and our fire control radar page. Left again, left again, and so on. It just so happens that the DTE and the test aren't implemented yet, so these are just you know blank screens essentially for the time being. We'll leave that on fire control, and now DMS switch right will be able to cycle between HSD and the stores management system. Right, like so. Both of those pages are currently implemented. So that shows how we can change what is on the MFD using the DMS switch, which will be bound to a control on our joystick or our HOTAS. Now note that we have OSBs around these MFDs, MFE, MFD multifunctional display. These buttons here are called OSB. So if we wanted to do something on one of these screens, like change where the screen is centered here, we won't need SOI for this. Uh, most of the OSBs can be used without the need for soy but if we wanted to click on this guy here and change where our view was centered now on our own ship that's an example of how these OSBs around the side the top and this side here and sometimes on the bottom as well we've got a declutter button there can act as functions for whichever screen we've got selected in the MFD in this case the HSD horizontal situation display and if we go over to the fire control radar currently up on the left MFD all sorts of buttons that you can change here with regards to the fire control radar. Now if we wanted to go to what I'd call a main menu where we can get all of the MFD pages shown then all we do on either of these two MFDs is click the current page the OSB relating to the current page that's selected. Fire control radar is currently selected so click that one there and that will send us back to the main menu. If we want to get back into the fire control radar just click on it again. From the main menu we can access all of the possible screens that we can put on these MFDs. FCR, fire control radar, is working, implemented and ready to use. TGP is just our targeting pod, implemented and ready to use. I've just got it turned off at the moment. Weapon, not implemented. TFR, not implemented. FLIR, not implemented. Storage management system is implemented. 
HSD, horizontal situation display as we saw is implemented. DTE, not implemented. Test, not implemented. And uh, flight control system, currently not implemented. If we have an option that's set up here, so let's have our flight control radar set up here and let's just have something set up here. Let's just have a um, uh, stores management. We can swap what we've got on each screen. I don't know why you'd want to do this, but if you wanted to swap them around, ping, you can swap them over like that. Okay, so I hope that answers your question. We've briefly been over what SOI is, why we need to use it, and how you set it on one of the three elements. And we've looked at how we can control our MFDs to load up the various pages, manipulate them, swap them, and so on. I hope that helps and see you later.